I don't even know what I'm saying. Ay, ay, ay. Coffee. Garçon. Hey everyone, welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we are gonna do potato chips in the deluxe air fryer. Now, if you don't have a deluxe air fryer, no worries. You can do potato chips in the basket of your regular air fryer, but we are gonna use our deluxe air fryer because I wanna try it in the basket as well as doing it on the tray. So without further ado, let's start on this adventure. Let's go. All right, so our first step is to thinly slice our potatoes. Now, I'm gonna use the new Rapid Prep ma Mandolin from Pampered Chef. If you do not have this little tool, um, you just use a knife, just slice them as thinly as humanly possible. I am going to use uh, the chip setting on number one, stick in my potato, and we will just thinly slice as many potatoes as we can. And by thinly sliced, the number one slice is so paper thin you can see through it. Check it out. Look at how thinly sliced that is. That is gorgeous. It's amazing. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get these potatoes right into my ice water. We are going to need to soak these in ice water for 15 minutes. And then we are gonna rinse them to rinse off all the starch and then we are gonna soak them again for 15 more minutes. All right, and I'll just finish up these potatoes and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, and five pounds of potatoes done in less than five minutes. Wow, so amazing. If you do not have a rapid prep mandolin yet, the question is, why not? All right, so we're gonna let these soak for 15 minutes and then we will rinse out and then I'll let them soak another 15 minutes and I will be back when they're all done soaking. Be back in a little bit. All right, our time is up. The potatoes have been soaking for half an hour, rinsed at the 15 minute mark and re-soaked. Now we are going to take them out and dry them off. So I just put a few of them in this bowl because my whole five pounds of potatoes is not gonna fit in the air fryer at the same time. Dun, dun, dun. Um, I actually think I got a little too overzealous with cutting the potatoes because I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be making potatoes for a very long time if I do all five pounds of potatoes. So I might end up doing some scallop potatoes sometime this week. Maybe I'll put them in the freezer. I don't know. That's a lot of potatoes though. So basically I'm just going to dry them off just a little bit. That way our oil can stick to the potatoes. All right, so, and now we will take our air fry trays or baskets and we're gonna put them on parchment paper. And the reason is because I don't wanna get oil all over my counter. And we will put our potatoes right on our basket or our tray like this. Careful not to overlap, so you may need to play a little Tetris. How many of you were Tetris masters back in the day? Although they still have Tetris, so maybe you're still a Tetris master. That was one of my favorite games. I love those kinds of games. So as you can see, my trays only fit about 18 chips. Let me just tell you what, if I was doing chips for a large group of people, this doesn't work for me. But for the sake of science and the sake of someone asking if we can do chips, one serving of chips, because who only eats 16 chips? Not me. Um, we're doing this just to show you that it can be done. I also really do want to try it in the basket because I would think that you could do more in the basket, but maybe they'll stick together. Ugh, I don't know. So, okay. So we're going to take our spritzing oil and we are going to cover them with oil. And you want to make sure I should have got a bigger piece of parchment because I'm literally spraying all over the place. Oh, 
Oh, that was a nice try. Nice thought anyway. Make, a, make sure your whole area is covered in parchment or else you're gonna get oil all over the place. Yeah, that. All right, and now we are gonna sprinkle with our seasoning salt. So I'm just using the Pamper Chef seasoning salt um, to sprinkle because we want them to be a little flavored. By the way, I've never done this in the air fryer before. I just know it can be done. So this is where the adventure comes in for me. I'm just following someone else's directions, but I do want to try it in the basket. Turn back, Sarah. Turn back before it's too late. Okay, so let's set our air fryer to 350 for 20 minutes. Now, it is very important that you have your guard on the top because these are very thin potatoes and they will fly up and may start a fire, especially covered in oil. And we are gonna go ahead and get that started. Now, here comes the tricky part. We are going to need to rotate and flip these every five minutes. So this air fryer will beep after 10 minutes but I'm gonna have to babysit this air fryer for the next 20 minutes, turning and flipping every five. So yes, that's a little fiddly, but if you want potato chips that have no preservatives, this is where it's at. So I'll see you back here in about five minutes to turn and flip. All right, 15 minutes is here. So let's check our progress. Oh, see, we already have some that moved. So let's go ahead and turn them over, try to go quickly, and then get them right back in to the bottom. And we're gonna do the same to up here. There we go. See you back here in another, actually, I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing just two more times. I'll see you back here when they're done. Okay, so with five minutes left, it looks like uh, some of my chips are already done. So I wanted to go ahead and take the ones that I thought were done out and get the other ones back in for the remaining five minutes because I definitely don't want burnt chips, right? Or at least a couple minutes. So maybe it's more like 15 to 17 minutes. Yeah, but look at that. Look at that. Well, that's hot. Hey there, hold on. That's what I got gloves for. Uh, look at that. They look like chips. Some of them look a little more done than others, but let's taste one. Ooh. That's a good crunchy chip. Mmm. Mm. Now, I don't know that I'd wait around for hours and hours to get a whole pound, like five pounds done. But if you could do them in a basket in a larger quantity, that's what the adventure is today for real. So while that's finishing up, let me put these off to the side. I promise not to touch it. Eat another one. That's a really good potato chip. I'm just saying, maybe the fiddliness is fine because that's a good potato chip. Check on our one chip. It's flying all over the place. It's like, I want to be with my people. There we go. Okay, last one is done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some potato chips out and dried and dressed for the basket. I don't know if it's gonna work in the basket. They may just stick together, but I don't know. I mean, like, the idea of it sounds intriguing. I don't know, probably wasting my time. Although if it works out. See, that's what you're here for. You're here to see if it works out because if it works out, it'll save us a lot. I want, I want time-saving tools in my kitchen, time-saving hacks, and maybe this is one of them. Maybe someone's already tried it and they didn't do a video on it and so no one knows. Well, I'm doing a video on it so that you know and that you can share your wealth with other people so that maybe they don't have to. I don't know. Sounds good in my head. All right, so just like with the other one, we are going to oil these up. All right, now let's get our seasoning on. And toss to coat. Grabbing our basket 
And we are just going to dump these right into our basket in no order. I mean, ugh. now that I'm putting them in there, I'm wondering if I shouldn't shake the basket every five minutes. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll shake the basket every five minutes, but it's better than turning 150 potatoes, right? I can just shake the basket. Let's hope. Okay, let's install the basket here. All right, so let's hit custom and go to 20 minutes. Oh, 350, rotate. All right, we'll see you back here when there's something interesting happening. So I just peeked, it's only been five minutes because I was going to shake it up and they're all stuck together. So I'm pretty sure the basket is not going to work, but we will power through and see what we can get. I I'm pretty sure there's no videos of this because it doesn't work. Well, we'll see. Whatever. <laughs> All right, the time is up and don't try this at home. Number one, there is a royal mess in the door of the air fryer. Number two, they all, no matter what, how much shaking I'm doing, they're just sticking together. So here's a clump of half cooked potatoes for you. So after 20 minutes, they're still very soft, very soft. Um, I think that I could probably put them back in on the trays to resurrect them or at least finish them off because they're, they're pretty soft and only half cooked, but I think they'll still crisp up. I don't know. All this to say, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely still cook these up because we want to eat these yummy chips because they're good. All this to say, you can make chips in your deluxe air fryer. Should you? I mean, if it's just you and the dog, maybe you can have enough chips for one serving um, in 15 to 20 minutes, but, whew, that one's hot. Um, I mean, and, and they're preservative free, so there's that. I mean, it's so tough to say because I wanted them to work and they tasted really good, but 18 chips in 15 to 20 minutes, I just don't feel like that's worth my time. Does that make sense? It's valid, they taste great, but I hope that makes sense. I feel like I've wasted some of your time, but at the same time, we needed to know. We needed to know if this was a valid option. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that adventure, even if it didn't quite go as I'd hoped. Although doing chips in the air fryer, valid, very valid. Just maybe don't do them in the basket that rotates. Oh, well, it's always an adventure here in my house. So if you enjoyed that, give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I do videos several times a week and I'm always looking for the next adventure. So if you have one for me, leave it in the comments below. Even if I think it's not gonna work, I may still try it. All right, you guys, see you later. Bye.